Thank you for staying with us. Now, how is COVID-19 affecting the marketing and advertising world with events, cancellation and lockdown in several countries, including Nigeria? How are advertisers keeping their heads high and seeking alternative measures to promote their brands? Now, our guest, Yinka Debayo, has over 20 years of experience in the field of marketing and communications with key focus on advertising and media. He started his career with promo serve limited and worked with few other advertising agencies on several multinational clients now before joining media rich omd his experience span a wide range of product including fmcgs telecommunications banking automobile and airline industries now remember you can join the conversation twitter to us at plus tv africa or at ways africa one with the hashtag ways or you send us an sms or whatsapp to 081 Eight zero three eight four six six three. Thank you so much for joining us, Mr. Inka. <laughs> Thanks for having me. It's nice to be here. So, it's always nice to bring somebody to the studio live because pandemic, everybody's cancelling. <laughs> but I'm happy that you, it's you, a breath of fresh you decided to honor our invitation. Thank you so much. I think Sansi has the first question. <laughs> yeah, I do. Um, a lot of businesses are just crying out, you know, shut down and everything. But let's focus on, because advertising represents all other business. So how is this pandemic affecting the advertising? advertising industry right now? Hmm. When I talk about the pandemic, affecting advertising industry is more like looking at it from a, from a narrow perspective. Certainly it's affecting everybody. True. It's okay. one road that none of us has ever passed through. Mm. So we are all, we are all G3. We are right. all, but I think it's the midst of, so for advertising too, just like every other sector, it's been impacted. Mm. How we now see it will depend on how we are able to interpret it individually, whether as a client, agency or as a media practitioner. Mm -hmm. we, have co co we have the water in the cup before us, two yeah. things can happen. Okay. Is it that you see it as half full oh, or half, half empty? empty. Half and how you see it determines how, we, how you travel. Hmm. Okay. okay, so um, we know that advertising has a great influence in, you know, influencing people. So, and we say something about power. Because it, it's advertising is very powerful, and they say with power, with great, with power comes great responsibilities. You ha you have to be responsible for the power that is in your hands. And I see that a lot of people are tweaking their style of advert to suit the current pandemic. You know, to say okay, for a product that was there before, they tweak it a bit to say you know what, it will kill. I mean, coronavirus. You know, so everybody is now including. Um, that okay, this product will help, especially probably with um, uh, maybe detergents and, and cleaning agents and all of that. We've seen a bit of them. I don't want to mention to bring down any brand, but do you think um, our agencies are responsible with their promises when 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 it comes to advertising? Well, I think to a large extent, yes. And one must give it to Apcon, that's yeah, the Advertising exactly. Practitioner Council of Nigeria. They are going, they are doing a very good job in terms of helping to moderate and regulate the industry. A lot of sanity and responsible marketing we are beginning to see. You see, the truth of the matter is that the COVID-19 issue is a major shocker to everybody. In fact, if anything, it has, it has, it has taken both the clients as well as the agencies back to the drawing board. Whatever projection, whatever plans you have for the year, it's been, it's, it's been nullified. So you need to go and strategize. And of course, as a brand person, you always must put on your thinking cap. You mm -hmm. must not be caught on our ears. So meaning that just like the brand you mentioned, if my brand has been talking about cleanliness before, this is the right time for me to preach the gospel better. <laughs> That's the honest truth. But I and I do it responsibly mm -hmm. in such a, because it's very important, particularly now, people are sensitive now. Yes, you've got product to sell. I'm interested in buying your product, but how you present it to me will determine how I react to it. If you are so insensitive to my feelings at this time, people can be negative. So you need to equally empathize with them to say, hey, yeah, I know you are so that's why you see a couple of them creatively tagging it. I saw a telco that came around saying that this uh, social distancing is not disconnecting. So meaning you must connect. Mm, and if right. you want to connect, what do you use? You use your mobile. So it's as simple <laughs> as that. So I'm empathizing with you. I'm equally telling you, hey, I provide it you the It does not mean that you should stop yeah, using the... So those are the sort of ways. Those are the create. And that for me, this of course boils down to what I said earlier about when you see the cup, is it that you see it as half full or half empty? For some guys right now, they're hands enough to say, hey, I don't know what to do with our play. But for some other smart guy to say, hey, how do we navigate this? How do we creatively 
come around with messages that appeal to people's emotions, empathize with them, and equally take them. Because we all need each other at this point. Absolutely. A whole lot of mental stability needs to come in to help us navigate this journey that we've never gone through before. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so now looking at, obviously you say that like this is like everything has gone topsy-turvy. People are putting on their thinking caps, trying to find a, a, a solution to, to um, the current situation and still, you know, have your audience. What are other... What would you say are the emerging advertising alternatives at the moment? Well, I think, like I was telling someone before we came on here, one must give it to you guys. Of course, next to the medical guys, I think you guys are doing a wonderful job. Thank you very much, I must sir. Give it to you. So big <laughs> shout out you. to the media guys out there. Thank you. You guys are doing a good job. One, keeping us informed because information is key. Information is power. Information is knowledge. And we need a whole lot of it at this time to navigate this uh, turbulent period. Secondly, that you're keeping us entertained and getting us educated. It's a brilliant job. So brands too now need to evolve ways to see how they partner with you strategically so that they begin to still get their message on because for all you care, people must still need to heed. People must still need to hit, mm -hmm. irrespective of whatever uh, the pandemic is bringing to the table. People still need to survive. You must take your back. So a couple of brands will still be relevant. Absolutely. But how they are positioned, how they are presented, how they are promoted at this particular period will determine how successful they are and how people will, re will realize they need to say, hey, when I was having that problem, this brand stood by us and we are willing to go longer. So it needs to be handled with some level of creativity, maturity, and a high level of responsibility. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay, so... <laughs> well, I, I mean, I'm interested in this. So now, um, obviously, a lot of industries have been affected. Um, this is like pretty much back to basics. So if you're in fashion, restaurant, travel, automobile, these industries have suffered a huge loss right now, if I dare to say. So um, the affected industries, how, how do you think, what do you envision, how do I put it? Their comeback would look their, like? Their comeback, their snapback would look like? Yeah, well, that's the more reason why brands should be careful not to go into Nick Jack reaction. And the Nick Jack reaction will be, hey, I'm not making no profit, people are not selling, so because of that, let me stop advertising. You could be giving, you could be digging your own grave. Because for you to attain the level of awareness you've gotten, you've actually done a couple of work. So meaning your top of mind awareness, you need to keep it there. Now, you don't need to make it high, but at least keep a minimum threshold. So that even after COVID, there's going to be life after COVID. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So that after COVID, you don't start afresh. You can just keep on the temple, and after COVID, you probably need to just hop the temple. So what if the brand will say, ah, okay, I'm not making money. So how do I keep spending money on advertising when I'm not making money and I cannot, you know, I can't sustain it? Value point, but the truth of the matter is that even advertising, you are not supposed to get the response immediately. The fact that I advertise to you today doesn't mean you go out there and buy the product today. Yeah, absolutely. So I need to invest. I need to continually position myself in your mind so that whether you need me now or you're going to need me later, my name, the name of my brand come top. You know, that's what top of. So yeah. you need to, and for me, <laughs> in life, the bridge you are going to walk across, you don't build it when you are ready for the trip. No, the you start to build a long time before that trip. Okay, so now I'm feeling the need, like I have to just go into food business because <laughs> it seems to me that in all of these things, okay, I, I, I was having a conversation with some people and I said three industries come to mind that are not affected at all in this pandemic. The telecommunications, <laughs> and I'll probably merge that with the data providing I mean, companies that sell yeah. data and all of that for online browsing, food industry, and the media space. Those three industries are not affected. But fashion, like she rightly mentioned, they experience, I think, about 60% loss. 40% uh, loss and all of yeah. that. So do you think that um, it is wisdom? Because I, I think a lot of businesses will be thinking, okay, I think we're in the wrong business. Do you think it's wisdom to say, because of this, let me switch you know, from a, from a, uh, a marketing expert, would you, would you think it's, it's a wisdom for people to say start switching? Because online, I saw some businesses that were not creating hand sanitizers. All of a sudden, the hand sanitizers yes. is emerging with their logos and all of that. So everybody's trying to produce the product that seemingly is selling at this point. You see, it's boiled down to what I mentioned earlier about the Nick Jack reaction. Mm. People, ah, this is the world moving trend that you're moving there, but you can't travel far. Because how you start the journey determines how far you travel. Because before you go into product production or get involved in any product, you need to do research. Even that sector that it seems, it seems attractive for now, they have their own challenges. It may be that everybody is turning in their direction right now, but if you are faced with the challenges confronting them and you've not put necessary measures in place to address those challenges, in no time, 
you follow. So it's important for people to be careful at this time. Whatever lane you have, maintain it, but think creatively on how you fit into the flow. This is more like a whirlwind is blowing. The worst thing you want to do to yourself is to stand on its way. Mm. All you need to do is to creatively find a way to flow with it so mm -hmm. that when all the storm is over, your face as a brand will still be in the front. Right. Okay, so uh, social media era, obviously right now, we know that billboards uh, for now, it's out because everybody's it's locked everybody's down and everybody's down, yeah. looking down into their mobile phones and their TVs and all that. So there is a new form of advertising that is emerging right now, which is social media and content producing uh, through uh, social media influencers. How effective is that given the situation? And is it going to be sustained, like even after the pandemic situation we're facing right now, is that going to be sustained? Yeah, well, it's always, even before the pandemic situation has always been there, at least there's a significant growth in digital advertising. Most brands are engaging, most brands are now using influencers and all of that. So it's going to be there and it's going to be for them. But the truth of the matter now is the fact that it's becoming more pronounced because everybody's locked down, social media, yeah. trending and all of that. And of course, one must give it to the radio and TV too. People are seated at home. They are mm. waiting to get entertained and all of getting the information. So they provide good opportunity for advert too. Then of course, even for the press too, because they're able to hold down the information. And thank God for the kind of collaboration mm. going on between press as well as the broadcast uh, electronic media right. where you review some of the pages of newspapers on daily basis. So it's a good one. So it will be there. The digital era is going to be there. Certainly it's going to keep on going. It's just that for now, it's more like the in thing. Once you have data, when they told us that data is life, like, we never believe, believe it. it. But now the reality is upon us to say data is really life. Yeah, it's so true. Every, in your house, you must have data to be able to communicate, yeah. to, to do a whole lot of things. So it's important and it will go all up along. But of course, it will not in any way replace the traditional media. Absolutely. Because they still have their own strength too. Absolutely. That when we get our lives back, people are still going to. Definitely. Yeah. I think one, one key sector I forgot to add in that in my analysis is also pharmaceuticals. But we have true. a question. Um, Joy is saying in the fintech space i see a lot of companies avoiding mainstream advertising majorly because of cost now for a growing um, space how do we create brand awareness that that is cost effective outside of social media yeah when you look at the the the, the above the line so talking about the tv and radio that they seem to be available, there's so many other creative ways by which you can be in there that's why people will come up with just a five second high they are 15 seconds that they are 40 you don't need to go for the overkill the, of 45 yeah. or 60. Then there are equally other opportunities like squeeze back, yeah. logo front. It speaks volume. Because, of course, we, one must give it to the media. They, 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 they are trending. They are actually the going thing for now. But, of course, you realize, you agree with me, that the, le the, no, the, the, the level of fake news we have going around to, it's most odd. information that people <laughs> get from social media, they, they, they tend to hold it with suspect. So, meaning for you to build credibility. For your brand, you must you need to fall back on the mainstream. mainstream. It's like you are just taking out the words from um, <laughs> our conversation yesterday because yesterday we were talking about fake news um, and oh, and the, the yeah the, the baggage that comes with it. Right. But I think we'll go on a short break. We're still having Kadivaya with us. Please stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs> 